Hey everyone, Ronnie Rowe back with you again uh, for another episode of my YouTube video. And for you folks out there that don't know what this is, this is Ronnie Rowe Designs, and I'm Ronnie Rowe. Been designing cross stitch, doing cross stitch for about 42 years now, and um, doing these videos about once every two or three weeks to uh, bring you up to date on what I'm doing in the cross stitch world and things that are going on in my life uh, that you'd be interested in. Uh, but anyway, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you back and thank you very much for allowing me to come into your home and sharing with you things that I find interesting and I hope you do as well. I hope each and every one of you have had a wonderful uh, two or three weeks since I last did a video, since we last got together and uh, remained healthy and everything is going great for each and every one of you. Um, <clears throat> today, I don't have a teleprompter. I didn't bring my piece of paper with me. I'm not going to do that today. I'm just going to add live and see see how this uh, turns out. So we'll, we'll find out when it's all over and I'll look at it. And uh, I don't normally go back and edit these things unless I really make a big mistake in them and then I'll do something and insert it in the video and tell you where I messed up but uh, normally I don't do that so and I hopefully I won't have to do that today um, I did redecorate my office as you can well see I put a couple pictures behind me here um, get rid of the uh, notes that I had posted up on my file cabinet I know a lot of people that do these videos, they have pretty, pretty elaborate settings they go through and uh, looks nice. I mean, every one of them looks nice. I guess on the nicest scale, I'm down pretty much at the bottom right now because um, this is what it is. This is my office and uh, I don't do a lot of redecorating. I, and uh, I found out one time if I did do that, the problem comes, I don't know where anything is anymore. So. I know I pretty much know where everything is in this office, and so my wife doesn't, but I do. Um, what are we going to go over today? Uh, today, I'm going to show you my progress. I'm going along with the uh, red bench. I'm not going to call it red door. <laughs> red bench. I'm going to show you what I've been doing with that. I'm going to talk about my new design, and I'm going to get ready to start here probably in the next month, I guess. Um, I've been working on, and that's on the piece of black material. I told you, like I told you last time, I swore I was never going to do anything on black material again, but I'm going to because I've come up with something I think is going to really be cool and something I'm kind of interested in. And I actually, I think will look good once it's completed, stitched up, all framed up. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you about that a little bit. Um, also, I want to talk a little bit about Woodlawn Plantation. Um, I do have Woodlawns. What did I do with it? I've lost it. I had the book here, but it's gone now, so I don't know what happened. Uh, but anyway, I want to talk about Woodlawn Plantation and what's going on there and what um, the show It's ending up the end of the month. And um, <clears throat> the judging at Woodlawn Plantation, I don't know what I did with my my book. That's really got me bugged. But anyway, I probably don't need it anyway. It was the Woodlawn catalog, and um, it listed the judges that they had in here, the people that went through and judged the show, and some of the criteria that they were looking at, and, and some of the criteria that they really pay close attention to is something that I do and I've been probably doing wrong for years. Uh, that show quality of needlework is foremost. I mean, they really go for quality of needlework, meaning uh, sitting down with a hoop or stretch, ever what you use to stitch with, uh, your quality of stitching. I don't think they look at the back of the stitching. They couldn't because everything is framed. But they do look at the quality of stitching as if you're going in the same direction. Let's just say you're doing X's, you cross in the same direction. No threads are going over each thread if you're using two threads. Um, they're looking at the uh, going from 
Um, what I have done in the past, like on some of my black and whites, my uh, done is not to go over so far as to see the thread behind the material. They really take a close look at that. And uh, a lot of my stitching that I have done in the past, uh, you can see that to in spots you can. I, I make a make a uh, really F concerted effort not to let that happen, but sometimes it does. Um, they do look for whole stitches. They look for uh, uh, any frayed stitches. And I think one thing, a lot of people, and I'm guilty of this, use old floss. Meaning I've got so much floss on hand that I've had for years and years. And when I do a project, I'm like a lot of people. I go, I have a tendency to go in and get this floss I already had. I don't go buy new floss just for a project. But they look for the quality of the floss. And they can probably tell with the way they look at it if you've got some older floss versus, uh, for lack of better terms, fresher stock. I mean, it's fresh. It's newer newer materials. So, And I also think they look for the quality of the uh, fabric that is being used in them. I know that we there's a lot of, lot of differences in quality of material that's used uh, in cross stitch but anyway everybody can use what they have my quality comes from Wichel imports uh, folks are nice enough to send me materials when I do a project and so uh, I, my my uh, material I use is, is a fairly good quality really good quality material so and that's not saying that you can't get good quality at Joann's or Michael's or somewhere like that but um, anyway, they, that's one thing they do look for. Um, anyway, that shows over the end of the month. Um, um, I didn't win any awards, didn't expect to, but had a good time showing my two pieces up there, Orleans and um, the flower one I did. Um, there I go again. That was another one of those moments. Uh, divine bouquet. Uh, but anyway... I've got a shop up there that's going to be picking those up for me at the end of the month and display them in the shop in Alexander, Virginia. So, um, but anyway, I want to show you a couple of new designs I've got, a, a new uh, pictures that I have done in the past I want to highlight this week. And those are musical instruments. Uh, these are ones that I did some time ago. I got interested. I thought, well, what am I going to come up with? Uh, I've told you in the past about one of my biggest problems is coming up with an idea or something I, I want to do. And um, <clears throat> I got thinking about, uh, this was several years ago, went to Nashville. I thought about musical instruments. Why not do some musical instruments? I mean, everybody's kids, people play instruments. And so I did several of them. I did a piano. I did a saxophone, a guitar, a, and, and those kinds of things, a trumpet. And we'll show you two of them today. The first one I did was a trumpet. And these are under glass. I'm sorry about the uh, reflection you're going to see. But these pictures, not very complicated to do, but turned out fairly well. This is my horn idea. This is a uh, trumpet. And when I did this, I wanted to do something a little different. And I put some, as you can see, swirl marks in the back and it, and it trumpet goal obviously and i put four names around it armstrong gillespie marcellus and davis these were four people who were very instrumental instrument instrumental um with the trumpet louis armstrong um, uh, uh marcellus and miles davis miles davis and dizzy gillespie so um but anyway i put those names around i thought that turned out Turned out well for someone who would like to have a picture of a trumpet. And uh, I know band members, people, people, relatives, or somebody might want to do something with that instrument. The other one I had uh, that I want to show you was saxophone. And I thought that was pretty cool. I, what I did with that, put a symbol, put the swirl marks and everything, and uh, put the word jazz in it. And uh, put a lot of detail in this around 
Uh, coming up this area right in here, there's a fairly amount of detailed work going on in, in this piece, but it turned out very well. And again, these are all framed in a silver uh, Bainbridge frame, a metal frame, and I did them on white 18 count Ada and um, double matted these in a white. It's called a script white. And I, I've been using a lot of that uh, for many, many years in framing these. Um, I do do all my own framing. I don't go to a frame shop to cut mats or anything. I've got, over the years, I've just learned how to do it. And so, um, anyway, I do all of that, all my framing, as well as all the stitching, everything combined. Okay, so what, I, what do I want to show you right now? I want to show you what I've been doing with the red bench. Last time we got together, the red bench, I think I just had some of this done right here. Since that time, I've come down and I think you can start seeing where I'm going with this. Right down this area right here and coming down below, which I haven't stitched yet, there's going to be a pathway coming up here. You'll be able to see that pathway coming up leading to this house, if you will, this little shed barn. And um, first time I've seen the red in this thing for the red bench. And so the bench is going to be sitting in this area right here in front of uh, the little house. And as I told you before, <clears throat> there's only about four or five colors of the blues I've used in this. And what I wanted to do, what I tried to do was make a scene look coal if you will like it's a wintertime scene and in order to do that i use these blues together and right up in this area right here being able to take these trees in the back it's just one line here you want it to represent in the forest going back into the picture uh a sense fade them out if you will not not bring them to the forefront as you did with this tree and this tree here so everything there is kind of faded back even even this tree right coming up here you can see on the edge and that's a fairly large tree but we didn't want to bring that out as much as i wanted to highlight the building right here and in front of the building obviously highlight the red bench and so that's where I am on this right now. Um, I'm going to probably by the end of next week or sometime, sometime, I'm, I'm working this way, going left to right, and I'm coming in to finish this. And then there's a small part around the bottom I'll be doing, and you'll be able to see more of this next time we get together. And um, I'll probably get together with you again before um, I finish this piece. Um, uh, I'm, I'm sure I will. Um, but anyway, that's the way it's going right now. I'm not sure. I'm, I think I'm going to map this in a silver frame the way I showed you the musical instruments. And um, I don't know what color mat board I'm going to use. I'm thinking about using something. I know I'll use a white sun, but I'm thinking about a real pale blue. Something in this color scheme up in this area right here. For the outside mat and then the inside mat have something a little bit darker blue i think that with a blue core a dark blue core and that's the mat boards new mat boards you can get when you do the bevel when you cut the mat board on the bevel inside the mat board there's a color and so um, i've used that before and that works really well i think it looks good and um, so anyway this picture is coming along pretty good and now once I get it done, I think it's going to be nice hanging in a den or in a hall or somewhere like that. And um, so anyway, I'm kind of happy with this one. It's going to turn out okay. So, but anyway, that is red bench, not red door, red bench. Oh, by the way, and once I do complete this and get everything fixed up, uh, this will be out on my SD site. It'll be there. And when I do put it on my SD site, I'm going to run a special. I'm going to run a special something just for the folks watching my video if they want this. So I'm going to, I'm going to do a two for one or something. I'm going, to, I'm going to do something special and everything for this particular design. So anyway, 
subscribe to my oh by the way i didn't tell you when we started the video hit the little subscribe button i really appreciate that um but anyway for the folks who do watch the video and send me a note uh, i'm gonna do something special when this goes out on st and that, that'll be that'll be a, a while yet but it will it's coming it's coming um the two musical instruments i just showed you they are out on instrument along with a guitar that i have nashville across on that the piano and so um, go out and take a look at those, if you will. I think you're going to like them. Um, they, um, they, they turn out very, very well. Like I was telling you, the next thing I'm going to be doing is on black material. And <clears throat> I'm looking forward to doing that. That's, that's going to be a, that's going to be a good project. I don't know. I'm, I'm not crazy about stitching on black material, but I, this one, I'm going to really try to um, do my stitching very well. I'm going to take really uh careful i'm gonna be careful about my stitch and i'm not just going to stitch stitch it's like i normally do i'm gonna really make sure my threads are right and everything so i hope this thing is really going to turn out well um since we last talked i did get a chance to sit there and zoom with julie julie of uh, stitching with jewels we had a very good conversation uh last week i'm glad to see that she's getting along better doing well after her surgery and she's back at it um Told me she had to go back to work next week. <laughs> I'm I'm so glad I'm not sitting here telling you that I have to go back to work next week. That is wonderful in my world. I don't go back to work anymore. That work work is a long way. That was a long that was over. I don't do that anymore. God, I'm glad I don't have to. Um, but anyway, we did have a really good conversation, talked a lot, lot about designs, her designs, my designs, about various techniques and things that we can do to improve and the way to get a better product out to all of you folks and the folks out there that are interested in our designs. And so anyway, that was really good. And I, I enjoyed it. Every time I talk to Julie, I enjoy that a whole lot because we've... Uh, We've we've really bonded in a way that uh, um, it's really special. I mean, you see people in this business. She's from Denver. I'm in Virginia. Who would have thought we ever get together? But we have. And so uh, anyway, nice talking to her. Um, what else is going on? The weather's getting good here in eastern Virginia. Uh, my tomato plants are coming up in my greenhouse. They're doing well. I'm getting ready to plant some other plants in the greenhouse. That's for spring. Be putting them in the ground probably middle part 20th of April. That's normally when it's a good time in my area to start getting things out and getting them in the garden. A lot of my other things are coming out. The pear trees are blooming. The blackberry bushes are coming out with the green leaves. So, you know, excuse me, everything is looking really good. So I'm happy about that. Um, not much more this week to tell you. Uh, I did try to decorate my office a little bit by putting some picture, pictures, some designs back here. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not much on designing my office, as I told you earlier. So, but anyway, until next week, um, or next week, probably a couple more weeks, um, I'll see you again. Uh, as I always tell you when I leave you, the one, the one thing I do want you to do, oh, hit the subscribe button keep saying that hit the subscribe button that really helps me a whole lot um thank you very much for coming back to see me i really i really really appreciate it a whole lot and um anyway between now and then next time we see me number one thing i want you to do is be safe bye-bye come back and see me see ya